Hey, what's going on everyone? Chris here. In this video, I want to tell you all about the Fundsmith Equity Fund, what it is, how it can make you a lot of money, and how much I've invested in it myself. As a special treat for those of you that stay to the end, I'm going to show you how much you could actually earn by investing £100 a month from the age of 18 to just the age of 50. So not even your entire investing life, just 18 to 50 years old. I'm going to show you how much money you'd expect to get back from that. I'll start this video by telling you what an equity fund is. So basically in investing, when you're investing in the stock market, you can either decide to invest in an index, which is just a collection of companies. So the S&P 500, as I'm sure a lot of you know, is the top 500 companies in the United States. And the FTSE 100 is the 100 top companies in the UK. There's also an index a fund called the All World. So like the Vanguard All World Fund. That's over, I believe, 3000 companies from literally all over the world. And they're great ways to diversify uh, your investments, you know, really go sort of risk free, as it were, for a long term investor. Now, the way an equity fund is different from an index is an equity fund is just managed by one person, well, a team of people technically, but it has a fund manager and you're essentially trusting your money with that person and their team to invest your money in the right places. And then they're going to buy and sell things for you when they feel the time is right. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, Chris, don't even go there. They're useless. You might as well just track an index because you'll be able to get lower fees. And yes, I did agree with that point. But now I've been looking at this Fundsmith Equity Fund. Actually, they do things a little bit different compared to all of the usual fund managers. So getting on the laptop, this is the Fundsmith Equity Fund main website. Now you can actually, if you click on, so on the website, invest now, you can actually invest through your uh, stocks and shares ISA to keep all the gains and dividend payments tax free. If you haven't yet set up a, a stocks and shares ISA in this tax year, then uh, you know you can do one through straight through the Fundsmith website if you like. Obviously, nothing in this video should be taken as financial advice, and of course, do your own research. But that is an option for you there if you're yet to set anything up. But if we go over to the About Us page, I won't read through absolutely everything on here. I'll, I'll leave a link to this in the description. But the uh, here's the main man, uh, Terry Smith here, the chief exec. And uh, basically, he's been investing and um, he's got a massive amount of history in the investment world and has like, you know, over well over 40 years of investing uh, experience. So when you buy into this and you trust him with your money, you are essentially getting all of that experience uh, when you do this. Uh, and then the, the next person down here is a man called Julian Robbins, and he's the head of research. Now, from the videos uh, that I've been watching on the Fundsmith YouTube channel, this Julian Robbins really knows his stuff. And I'll leave a, a couple of links down in the description for videos that I would recommend you watch from their channel. If we then jump over to fact sheet, uh, you can scroll down and, and literally take a look at everything here. So the one I've invested in is the uh, T-Class accumulation shares. But if I, uh, if I just show you some stats here on, from the fact sheet. So what does, um, what does Fundsmith believe in? So their values are no fees for performance, no upfront fees, no nonsense, no debt or derivatives, no shorting, no market timing, no index hugging, no trading and no hedging. And I think they like to state all that because a lot of the managed funds do a lot of trading within the fund, which ups the costs of the fund. And they also charge a fee per for performance, which can massively take away from how much money you're going to get at the end of it. There you can see the, the top 10 holdings, Microsoft, PayPal, IDEX, Intuit, Facebook, L'Oreal, Estee Lauder, Novo Nordisk, uh, Philip Morris and Stryker. And I'm sure most of you will know uh, most of those companies there. If we go through and just have a look. So there you go, manager Terry Smith and the launch date was the 1st of November 2010. So coming up for in a, a couple of months time, this fund has been going for, a, will have been going for 11 years. And also then we can go down and see that now as of uh, 31st of August 2021, the fund size is 27.8 billion pounds. And then we can uh, keep going down here and uh, looking through. Obviously, you know, you can check all this stuff at uh, your own pace here if you go through the link. But you can see here that uh, annual rate of return, annualized rate of return since their inception nearly 11 years ago is 18.9%. 
which is just insanely good. Uh, you can see here performance against the uh, World Index. So this is the MSCI, the Morgan Stanley World Index. Uh, since um, So comparing that with the World Index 12.8%, and then, like I say, they've got 18.9%. You can see then that the uh, best month they had was 9.4% in a single month, January 2013. And then their worst month was uh, minus 6.9% in December 2018 and February 2020. And the average month is uh, a positive 1.5%, with um, the percentage of positive months being 71% there. Now, with them being a global fund, of course, they look to buy the very best companies in the world, not not just in any specific country. And you can see that their geographical split there is uh, US is 71.8%. Then they're in uh, France, Denmark, UK, Finland, Spain, and uh, they have 3.2% in cash there um, at the moment. And then they have a sector split here of uh, technology, consumer staples, healthcare, consumer discretionary, communication services, industrials, and then again, it's just saying about the cash again. I really wanted to bring this to your attention because when I first started my investing journey, I was kind of, you know, going, buying all these different things, different stocks and shares and in loads of different things. And then I thought, no, I don't want to do that. I just want to buy the S&P 500 and keep it nice and simple. But then actually this is a, a, an active fund here that has a very low charge. So I think the charge is like 1.1% as a, a total charge that includes all the dealing and all the trading uh, per year that uh, the fund is going to do. But yeah, they're, they're really providing some great returns and they have done for you know 11 11 years now basically and the, they have a really good ethos of just being for a long-term investor and buying just the best companies at a really good price and then doing nothing and that is their motto actually to buy good companies at a fair price and then do nothing. Now if you made it to this part of the video thank you so much for watching to the end as promised I'm going to show you how much money you could get so this is if you were 18 years old and you invested 100 pounds a month into this um, and you so for 32 years you would then be 50 so I'm not even done this to like 60 years old and you can see there I've not put their average return of 18.9 percent I've just put 18 percent and then I've put the deposits 100 pounds a month and I've added 2% for inflation there. You would have 1.6 million pounds just invest in that 100 pounds a month from 18 to 50. And you know, if, if you wanted to go um, more than that, if you wanted to do 250 pounds a month from 18 to 50, you would then be talking, so just over 4 million pounds. And you know, for me, that's just an insanely good return. Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are on the Fundsmith Equity Fund, whether you should be getting invested in it or just following the index. Please do press the like button if you've had any value from this video. And until next time, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.